All right, back here at home, the San Diego Auto Museum is celebrating 36 years in Balboa Park, hosting a marquee fundraiser this afternoon on Coronado Island. And our Julian Delgado is there. He joins us live with more on the exhibition and why days like today keep the engine going, as they say. Julian. Uh, Kathleen and Andrew, you know, somebody had to MC this event. I'm sure they were trying to call both of you, but somehow I ended up picking up the phone first. And yes, this is the Cruising for Drivers fundraiser out here on Coronado Island. And I have to say, as far as Monday afternoons go, I don't know if there's a better place in San Diego to spend some time. With all that to say, though, the root of this event is rooted in charity, and that goes to the Ignite program. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but we actually had a chance to tour the San Diego Auto Museum at Balboa. Balboa Park, and this was our findings. I think the car is one of those things that binds all of us. We all have a story about some sort of car. Life is a highway inside the San Diego Auto Museum, showcasing some of the rarest vehicles in the world. Our hope is to have a car that sparks somebody's passion. There's something here. Motor we have more motorcycles than we do cars on display. Uh, we actually have one of the larger uh, uh, motorcycle displays on the West Coast. So there, there's definitely something here, and that's our purpose. You know, We don't want people to come in here and say, oh, it's all old cars. Oh, oh, it's all new cars. It's something for everybody. On display right now is the power of the Porsche and the evolution of the supercar spanning more than four decades in a display you'll only be able to see right here in Balboa Park. One of the big Porsche collectors here in San Diego, you know, we, we approached him and said, hey, we know you've got some of the stellar Porsches. We'd love it if you can just share one of them. And he was like, how about if I share all of them? And really had an idea in his head that had been brewing for years, and we were able to bring it to life. And that's really what's unique about this museum is not only the, the stories we tell, but how we actively engage the car enthusiast to tell their stories. And what most revs this exhibit's engines, the Ignite program, welcoming high school students from across San Diego with mentorship opportunities as well as early career exposure and experience, all at no cost. I've always thought of helping individuals from uh, lesser means to be able to get more productive in society and, and get advantages. So our goal now is to teach uh, high school students about the job industry, uh, the auto industry has a job resource. Uh, we take them to monthly field trips so that they can get an idea of like how does the dealership run, how does the paint world work, how does customization, all that kind of stuff go. And then if they get excited about that, they can get a, a 40 to 60 hour internship with one of our 30 uh, partners here in San Diego will offer our internship. And if they really like that, then they can go on to do a two to three year apprenticeship, which will culminate in having a job at the end of it. Yeah, and really the Ignite Academy is uh, the oil that keeps these wheels moving out here, and that is what this charity is all about. There are currently 30 kids signed up in the Ignite program, 80 total uh, span throughout freshmen and seniors around San Diego County, and really uh, it is rooted in trade, school, you know, you're learning how to paint a car, change tires, things of that nature, and they really just want to get the word out because it's only been around for two years, uh, and again, that's really the, uh, the centerpiece of why we're out here golfing today and uh, golfing under par, I want to add, Kathleen and Andrew. Subpar. <laughs> you said under par before. Are you still under par? Show us the scorecard. Prove well, it. Well, so it's a scramble format. There you go. Scramble format right now. It's best shot, and we are nine under. Nice. Uh, heading into the final five or six holes. So we shall see what happens. Of course, we have uh, tipped certain people to, to remain under par. Uh -huh. There's uh, some... I forget what the name of the uh, ball style is, but basically you get a free birdie if, uh, if you play that ball. But I think there you go. Go. So, so, so yes, <laughs> there you go. We get we get a couple of mulligans. Um, that being said, you know we're going to hand out some awards around six o'clock tonight. We'll have more to talk about on this at five. But really a glorious day out here, and I wish you both were in a golf cart next to me because yeah. uh, you would make it that much sweeter. I don't